welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Hmm, well, on this day in Tudor history, the 26th of September 1580, in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, Sir Francis Drake returned to England from his three-year circumnavigation of the globe. He landed at the port of Plymouth, Plymouth being in Devon, in his ship the Golden Hind, which was laden with treasure and spices. Now, Drake had left Plymouth on his travels on the 13th of December 1577 with a fleet of five ships. Storm damage to two of his ships had scuppered plans for him to leave earlier. Now, the purpose of his journey had been to sail into the Pacific Ocean and raid the Spanish colonies there. It was actually a secret mission authorised by Queen Elizabeth I, because she shouldn't really authorise raiding Spanish colonies. And investors of Drake's mission included the Queen herself, Sir Francis Walsingham, William and George Winter, Christopher Hatton and John Hawkins. Now, only one ship, the Pelican, made it safely to the Pacific, arriving there in October 1578. As a tribute to its success, because it was the only ship to actually make it to the Pacific, it was renamed the Golden Hind after Sir Christopher Hatton's coat of arms, Hatton having been one of the investors and his arms being the Golden Hind. Sir Francis Drake then sailed along South America's Pacific coast, plundering towns and Spanish ports and capturing Spanish ships laden with gold, silver and jewels. In June 1579, Drake landed just north of Point Loma, present-day San Diego in California, which was Spain's northernmost holding in the Americas. Drake claimed it for England in the name of the Holy Trinity and called it Nova Albion or New Britain. He then turned south and made his way back home to Plymouth. Drake came back from this voyage with a beautiful jewel for the Queen from Mexico. It consisted of a ship with an ebony hull, an African diamond and enameled gold. In return, Queen Elizabeth I gave Drake a jewel, now known as the Drake Jewel. It had a sardonyx double cameo portrait of an African male and a European regal figure on one side, and a locket containing a miniature of the Queen by Nicholas Hilliard on the other. Sir Francis Drake was the first Englishman to circumnavigate the globe, and he was rewarded by his Queen for doing this with a knighthood. He was dubbed by Monsieur de Marchemont, the French ambassador, on board the Golden Hind at Deptford on the 4th of April 1581. And later that year, he was also made Mayor of Plymouth. Drake came to a sad end. He died of dysentery in Portobello Harbour, Panama, on the 27th of January 1596. And you can find out more about his life death, and also two interesting legends associated with Drake in my video from the 27th of January, so I'll give you a link to watch that too. So there you go, another interesting On This Day in Tudor History event, and not such a bad one, not such a gloomy one today. You can click around about here to subscribe to this channel. You can uh, also like this video and you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor tidbit for you. Take care. Bye bye.